Hi! In this video, we're going to be talking about using Mixcraft's loops and library. Mixcraft comes with a ton of royalty-free sounds that you can use in your productions. With that in mind, in this video, we'll be composing a song entirely with loops from the built-in library, and then, finally, finishing out our song we've been creating throughout this series by adding a percussion loop. Let's kick things off by accessing the library. To do that, you can go down here to the bottom window and click the Library tab. As you can see here, Mixcraft comes with over 7,000 sounds, which is just about everything under the sun you could conceivably need in most cases. The included sounds cover an incredibly wide range of genres, styles, and different sound packs, so you have just about everything you need to choose from. Not only are these great for finishing out your songs or composing entire songs with them, but you can also use them as a demoing tool. So you may find a sound that you like that you can use as a placeholder and then go back and record the final part later. Down here in the main window, you can see all of the different sounds we have access to, and as you can probably tell right now, many of these don't necessarily go together. However, if you are able to compose a song with a 12-string acoustic guitar, a 303 acid synth, some 70s funk drums, 808s, and some abstract synths, please send it to us because that actually sounds kind of awesome. In order to begin composing our song using the loops, we should probably sort these in a way where all of the sounds are going to fit together. To do that, we'll go over here to the left-hand side, and in the Sort By dropdown, we'll select Song Kit. As you can see, this sorts all of the included sounds into specific genres. We have 12-8 blues, some Afro-Cuban, we've got some ambient music, bossa nova, heavy metal, cinematic, film scores, and just about everything else you could possibly need. Since it's a balmy negative two outside, I think I'm feeling the Hawaiian song kit today, so we'll select that. Here we have all the parts contained in this song, including acoustic guitars, the bass, the brush drums, the regular drums, some pedal steel, and ukulele. To begin checking out the sounds, you can simply click it and take a listen. And you can click it to stop. Over here to the far right, you can see all the details for this specific sound. So we know it's acoustic guitar A1, the tempo is 122, it is a loop and not a one shot or just a single sound, it's eight bars, it's in 4-4 in the key of G major, the instrument is guitar, genre is Hawaiian, so on and so on. So this is a good overview of the sound if you need to check its details before bringing it into your project. Once you've found a sound you're happy with, you can click and drag it into your project, and you'll see these two yellow arrows here indicating where it's going to be placed. So we'll kick things off by placing it on bar 3. Now we have this little pop-up here that says this sound's properties are different from our project. If you look over at our project settings here, we can see we are at 120 in the key of C. And in the pop-up window, it offers to automatically change our tempo to 122 in the key of G in 4-4 time. So this means Mixcraft will automatically change everything needed in order to make the project fit this sound best. In this case, since we're composing the song using this song kit in the same key and tempo, we'll select yes. However, if you've already set up your project and you're dragging in a part in a different key and tempo, you can select no and Mixcraft will automatically change the key for you and leave the tempo as your project is set. So that's a pretty handy feature and pretty cool to know, but in our case, we'll select yes as this is what we want to do. Now, as you can see here, Mixcraft has adjusted our tempo and project key. Let's start arranging our project by bringing in the other parts. We can start off with bass A1, as this is guitar A1, and we want these parts to match up. Let's grab the first brush drums. We'll grab our first drums here as well. Then we can grab the pedal steel A1 and ukulele A1. So now we've got the basic arrangement and bones of our track. However, there's a quick problem, as you might notice. Our drum parts here aren't the correct length. Now, you could drag in another instance of drums 1 here and brush drums 1 to fill this out. However, there's actually a faster way to go about doing this, so we'll undo that, and you can either click and drag the end of the clip to automatically loop it, or you can click the Add Loop icon here on that loop. You can repeat this as much as you'd like to make the loop as long as needed. In our case, we only need to loop each of these one time in order to fill out this section of our song. Now that we've got all the basics down, let's finish arranging our song by bringing in different parts. We'll start with A2, then we'll jump to C, then we'll go to D, and then we'll go to the end. Excellent, we've got everything arranged now and all we need to do to finish this off is duplicate our drum loops a few more times up until the ending point. So we'll click the add loop button, and now we can drag in the brush drum ending and the regular drum ending. At this point, we've successfully composed our track using only loops from the built-in library. Let's take a listen. 
Wow, that's really loud. Okay, let's turn things down by grabbing our master slider here and dragging it down a bit just to leave a bit more room so we don't go into the clipping overly loud territory. Now let's take another listen. Excellent, we have composed, arranged, and set up our very first track using only loops from Mixcraft's included library. Now that we understand the basics of locating sounds in the library, let's add a percussion loop to our song we've been working on throughout the series in order to finish out the arrangement. Okay, so we're back and we have our song that we've been working on so far throughout the series. So what I want to do is just add a shaker part just to help enhance this drum section a bit. The Hawaiian project here doesn't contain any shakers, so let's go back up and select all. Now up here in the top of the library tab in the search bar, let's search shaker. This will quickly sort through every item in Mixcraft's library and find shakers. Let's take a listen to a few and find one we like. I think this one will work. Right now we don't currently have an empty audio track to drag this onto. So we could go up here to the top left to add track and insert an audio track, or you could actually scale this window down slightly and drag it into this blank area here, and Mixcraft will automatically add a new audio track just for this part. Let's zoom in a bit here and then we can start using the shaker loop throughout our song. In this case I just need it in the main section, so I'm going to click and drag on the end of the clip and resize it. So now this is automatically looped and we're good to go. However, we have a whole nother section of the song here we need the shaker in and I don't want it in this middle section. To quickly duplicate this entire clip, we can hold Alt on our keyboard and click the top of the clip here and then drag it over to where we want it to begin again. Then we can resize the clip once more to trim it off where it needs to end. And with that, we've successfully added a shaker loop to our song. Let's take a listen. Very cool, I think that sounds good and should help fill out the groove a little bit more. Let's drag this track up above the master track just to keep things organized, and that's all we need to do. Now that we've recorded all of our parts, arranged our track, and successfully added in a shaker loop to help fill things out, I think we're ready to begin mixing. So at this point you should be comfortable with recording audio, recording virtual instruments, and dragging in loops from Mixcraft's included library of sounds to make your own song. Now that everything is ready to go, we're in a good place to begin mixing our first song in Mixcraft. So that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.